everybody. Welcome to week five of our spring story time. Today we're going to sing all about moms for Mother's Day. But first, let's get to our welcome song. As always, we'll sing it two times on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you. I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes. peek a -boo, I see you. All right, now we're ready to sing all together. Here we go. One, two, three. peek a peek a I see you. I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, peek a -boo. I see you. All right, and just like that, we're ready for our first Mother's Day story. This one is called Working Mummies, and it's about all the things mums and mummies will do throughout the day. This story is by Joan Horton. Look at this, we've got a mummy right here on the first page. And it's time for her to wake up. Mummies work at different jobs in buildings short and tall, in diners, schools, and hospitals, and at the local mall. Some mummies work in pet stores selling lizards, toads, and bats, while a manicurist mummy sharpens claws for yowling cats. A doctor mummy checks the throats of spooks with raspy moans, then doses them with coffin syrup to soothe their frightful groans. Wanda's mum's a waitress. She says, bone appetit when serving hungry skeletons big bowls of scream of wheat. A writer mummy works at home. She isn't a commuter. She conjures spells for witches on her personal computer. Other mums sell houses. They're not the least bit daunted by buyers who insist upon old dwellings that are haunted. Beautician mummy's business when the moon is full and bright. She curls the hair on werewolves so they won't look such a fright. Hilda's mum's a teacher. Her smile becomes a frown whenever screaming goblins refuse to quiet down. Mummies who are caterers cook up a tasty feast of ribs and baby bat wings for 100 drooling beasts. This mummy's a librarian. She has a great selection of rare and wiggly bookworms in her specimen collection. Igor's mum's a dentist. She uses extra care and filing fangs of vampires as they lie back in her chair. Some mummies work the graveyard shift to turn out by the dozens, replacement parts for Frankenstein and all his monster cousins. But no matter where the mummies work, in diners, stores, or schools, they can't unwind until they're home to hug their boys and ghouls. All right, that's our first story about mums. I've got a rhyme now that you can share with your mum, your grandma, anyone who's special to you. We've done this rhyme before, so you might remember it. And the motions we need are like this. First, I need to see a cup, and then a cup, and then we're gonna have some tea together. Our teapot looks like this. We're gonna pour our tea and pour our tea and then we can have a drink. Are you ready? Mmm, good. I'll say the rhyme once first, and then we'll say it all together. Here we go. One, two, three. Here's a cup, and here's a cup, 
and here's a pot of tea. Pour a cup and pour a cup and have a drink with me. Mmm, it's nice to share tea with someone you love. Shall we try it again? All right, on the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Here's a cup and here's a cup and here's a pot of tea. Pour a cup and pour a cup and have a drink with me. <sighs> All right, after our little tea time together, we're ready for our next story. This one is called Me and Mama, and it's by Cosby Cabrera. Here we go. Good morning to you, sings Mama, bright as sun. Sometimes she sings it like the birthday song. I've tiptoed to where she is in the house. It smells like cinnamon. Papa and Luca are still sleeping, but I want to be everywhere Mama is. I put my nose to the window. My breath makes a cloud inside. The clouds outside are wearing shadows. The wind is painting the outside window with beads of water. It's raining, I say. The perfect day for boots and puddles, says Mama. Bathroom first, she says. Then water, I say. This is Mama's cup. Sometimes I take a cool sip, but I have to be careful because her cup is breakable. This is my cup. Mama's cup goes clink, clink with a spoon. My cup goes duh, duh. Clink, 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 duh, duh. Clink, 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 clink. Uh-oh. Sometimes things break, Mama says. This is Mama's toothbrush. This is mine. I get less toothpaste. Round my teeth with little circles, Mama says. Round my teeth with little circles, I say. It's shower and dress time. Mama holds up my towel. A shower is warm rain that gets you going. Mama and I both have silver dresses. I wear mine with silver shoes. They're my favorite. Today is not our silver dress day, Mama tells me. I put my silver dress back on the hanger and pick up the plaid pants instead. Comb hair, says Mama. She points to my chair. I'm hungry, I say. Mama's thought of this ahead of time. She has warm oatmeal on the pot. This is Mama's bowl. She likes berries. This is my bowl. I like bananas. Comb hair, Mama says again. I don't want the bumblebee barrette. I don't like the bumblebee barrette, I say. Mama closes her hand. She knows I mean just today. She gives me the blue barrette. Comb hair, I say. I point to Mama's chair. Mama smiles. I give Mama the purply pink barrette. It matches her dress. She calls it fuchsia. Out we go, I say. Max is waiting. These are my rain boots and those are Mama's. Mama's rain boots are bigger than mine and they're red. I watch for Max's tail before I close the door. Max doesn't wear boots. Outside a pecker pecks. The sidewalk is longer than it is wide. I love the grass that grows in between. It's moss, Mama says. It's velvet, I say. A hole is where a branch was. Nests are left behind in winter. Some things don't let go, but for what? The stores are boxes filled with people. We sing out loud to Sky. Sky is taller, taller than the trees. Mama says a song is highs and lows. Splash. The, sun cl the outside clouds are pink with a sleepy sun. The day and our good are done. Mama puts me and Luca to bed. Our day is done earlier than Mama and Papa's. It's just that way when you're growing. Mama reads to us. I read to Mama. I begin each story with, sometimes. Mama laughs. 
She throws her head back and shines her teeth. I laugh too. You're my best girl, Mama whispers. Luca is already asleep. I slip through the blanket tunnel she closes by my chin. There's the kiss. Mwah. I love you, Mama, I yell. She turns off the light. My mouth gets sleepy first. The walls are dark except by the window where the stars are hanging. I close my eyes and let the day spin me some pictures. There's Max and Luca and Papa and Mama's laugh and tree holes and tall songs and mossy velvet as green as grass and full boxes and a blue barrette and a whole cup and a beaded window and warm indoor rain. Oh, and oh, there'll be me and Mama. The end. All right, that's the end of our second story. I have one more song for us to share. We might know this one from a few sessions ago. This is an older one. So I'll show you the motions, but you may remember them already. First, I need you to take one hand and put it around your elbow, and we're gonna wave just like this. And then we're gonna swap, and we're gonna wave just like this. And I need to see I love you and then a bright sun up here, and then an afternoon sun here, and then it's gonna get real late, and the moon's gonna come out. And those are all the motions we need for our song. As always, I'll sing it once first, and then we can sing it all together. On the count of three, it goes like this. One, two, three. skin a marinky dinky dink skin a marinky doo I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky doo. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky doo. I love you. All right. Obviously, this is a song that you can share with someone that you love, and I would like for you to sing it with me right now. Do you think you can? On the count of three, we'll try. One, two, three. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky doo. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky doo. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky doo. I love you. All right. All that's left before our craft is to share a goodbye song. Are you ready? On the count of three, we'll sing. One, two, three. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Give a wave and wink your eye. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, friends. All right, let's sing together nice and loudly. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Give a wave and wink your eye. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, friends. All right, join us back here in just one minute for our craft. See you soon. Welcome back for our craft today. We're going to be making a gift for mom that can also help our feathered friends outside. It's springtime now, so you may have noticed a lot more birds in your backyard. So by making this cute little pipe cleaner bird feeder, we'll be able to have a nice gift for mom, and it's something that she can hang outside for the birds. All you're going to need are a pipe cleaner, some Cheerios, and a piece of string. Now if you don't have string, because of the shape of this, you can actually just loop it over a branch and it will work just as well but string can be helpful if you happen to have it with you. And all you're going to do is take your pipe cleaner and you're going to start stringing 
Cheerios onto one end. You can really put as many or as few as you like. Now pipe, clean, uh, pipe cleaner bird feeders are healthy for birds. Uh, the Cheerios are great for them. And so the more you have, the more birds you can feed. But what you're going to want to do is leave either end empty, all right? Because when you've strung as many Cheerios on as you like, you're going to take those ends and twist them, kind of like a twist tie on a bread bag. And then you can move these Cheerios around a bit so that we can bend our heart shape. And you've got your twist at the bottom to make the point. And you can move your Cheerios around until you've got a cute little heart shape like this. Now, if you make more than one, you can maybe kind of link the hearts together so they'll dangle like this. Um, if you make just one heart, you can then take your little piece of string, if you have it, loop it through here and tie. And then this can go right on a branch outside, or you can hang it from your porch, anywhere you see birds gathering. All right, and there you have it. Cute gift for mom, helpful gift for the birds. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Bye!